Well, it's uh, how many days to Christmas? Uh, we encourage you. Let me just uh, check my 20th. So it means that just five days. Um, our lead producers, Daniel and then Oliver, they've decided to give us from tomorrow off. And we'll come the new, the new year. Yeah, let's go uh, for them. Um, 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 oh, Daniel, Oliver, no be so. Oh, no be so. Oh. Hey, Mr. Um. Francis Doku, we beg you. <laughs> What did you guys say? TIS, what? Pings! Namu, are you doing? Are you doing? No, but I'm not going to school, Papa. How do you spell pins? Pins! Is that how you spell pins? Yesterday, you were advocating for all the children who watch you on TV on Johnny's Bite. How do you explain to them that TIS? How many S's? T-I-S. 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 Musa di eni ye di edukru wa eya ne ye ya. The pain. Like you feel it. Now we are going to know your sentiment. Adi eni ye di edukru wa. Edukru wa. Ye de dua dua wa. Now what's now here? Where did you live? Oh, be a shaman no agro for. Ashaman omo kechi sa no. Oh no. Ashaman there's every language there. Ashaman is gone no. No there's every language in Ashaman. Eh. Iko man tu mu nyu. Oh, wow. to move, but okay. um, so you know what? Mm -mm. Um, yesterday we were there. No, mm -hmm. then the statement came from the finance ministry. They yeah. have suspended mm. payment of external creditors yes. or debt. Yes. yes, I was wondering. You know, there was a whole press conference that heralded yeah. the pre-staff level mm. agreements mm. Right. Yes. Right. on the transition or way to get the board approval. Mm. Yeah. And you know, key questions were asked. You know, that's on white man. Be I don't know whether we can get Oliver. Please get those videos from the last time when we had the the Trudeau. Uh, Trudeau. Uh, Trudeau. Trudeau. You know, so Trudeau the white guy. Who's a white journalist? No. Yes. Any, yes. Any sunny, I, yeah. 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 See, yeah. what happens to external debt? Have you? When? Oh, yeah, Jumawa Ghana buying. No, no. I think he said he works for Reuters. Yeah. Oh, you know, he, said, he, he asked okay. the question. That question was not answered. He said, what happens to extend? When are we going to get... Uh, we didn't answer. Mm. You know, some of these things, that's why we say that. Mm. Uh, explain, oh. Mm. Explain that thing. So that and when we are talking, we talk we from... Talk, yeah. a like an informed from, position. Uh -huh. Engage. And because now we have engaging. to go to Reuters, Bloomberg, and go and get... To go and fetch all those mm. info. Mm. And it is and not it doesn't right. Look, I don't know whether mm. it is Ghana... That is painting itself black, or it is or the, the Bloomberg and writing. I think it's a, it's a black star. Mm. Uh, you know, the star that. And you know, in essence, black, in oh, essence, so we should have taken it out. Yeah. And I wish you know, have... in essence, we owe over 28 billion US dollars. It's, yeah. external it's, a, credit. it's yeah. a serious yeah. matter. Yeah. And now we're seeing what well, we're mm. And some of those external all... creditors, mm. through third parties, they also have. Businesses here, FBI. Uh, they, they also have so debts then, here. So then yeah. you see, the, the way UT Bank and the rest can send their people after you to come yeah. and arrest you yeah. means that yeah. we'll be walking the streets Quick, of Accra and they will start they'll, arresting they'll us. Well, well, it's well, very possible. Well, on, on a more serious uh, note, I, I, I think that it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't. I think that um, when Sri Lanka mm. um, said they couldn't pay their debts, right. it also meant that they had tried to exhort all means by which they could free up some space, get some liquidity support to be able to pay their creditors. Right. And ultimately, they were not able to get that. As a result of that, um, they had to declare that, I mean, basically, we're bankrupt. Um, what the citizens did do, though, was to run in on the government's um, palace. Mm. And then ultimately, uh, leading to a number of key ministers running away from the country. Mm. And <clears throat> that's where it opens up the discussion. <clears throat> Knowing that it just comes some few days or a week after this announcement with the International Monetary Fund, mm. I think that we also need to put together this um, big media interaction to ask the questions. Yeah. Because we don't want to be in a very panicky situation. Mm. On the other hand, we're told that um, the dollar is doing so well, or the Ghana city is doing so well against the dollar. Right. Uh, but we can also pay our external debts. Now, how are our external creditors responding to this news? Mm. Did we have some consultations and get some buying from them? Uh, if that is the case, um, does it mean that we're not going to have any concerns being raised by them? Mm. Could it mean that 
because they ha we have the buy-in, when we go into the market, we're going to get rates at which we can borrow mm. uh, at some good concessionary rates mm. that could enable us to be able to offset debt at a certain period in time. And which period in time would then gonna be ready mm -hmm. to be able to pay up its external creditors? And these are key cons concerns. So um, I think we've come to the crossroads. Mm -hmm. And these are the times that the communication activity and the interfacing between government, the media, and the key stakeholders need to be tightened further. Yeah. yeah. We've come to the point where Labor is saying by the 27th of December 2022, yeah, we'll barring any difficulties mm. or actions at all, they'll hit the streets. Yeah. That also s tends to send a signal to the creditors out there that if internally the times are not too good, mm. is it the time for me to say, look, the next year when I'm, I'm due for payments in terms of that, even though they will have uh, insurances, etc., mm. uh, we can give this reprieve to the government. And you know, they all related. But you're getting 0% in 2022. Yes, well, well, that's domestically. <laughs> yes. But, but it also means that if that is the case, um, would that mean that that announcement by the mission chief or the chief of mission mm. of the IMF, IMF in that press conference, mm. that government needs to certify certain criteria, mm. is this part of the criteria? Suspending the external debt payments? Yeah. Yeah. But there must be repercussions if we have decided oh, to not pay and well, if we I'm, start I'm, defaulting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested I'm in thinking, what those repercussions I'm, I'm, I'm are. Thi I'm thinking that maybe we have a certain buy-in. Maybe. From? From the external creditors, um, creditors I'm mm. sure. They say we should, nice. we should pause there. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure, sure there's, there's some, some level of agreement, mm. I believe. There should because be. There should be. One party, you know, there are always... Um, um, oh, what's the phrase? Something, something to draw down. Um, oh, my banking terms have, have be, escaped be, to me this be, morning. Conditions yeah. precedent to draw down. Mm. Hey, so this, we, yes. We have had conditions precedent and conditions subsequent before in this country. Remember mm. PDS? Exactly. Ah. Uh, precedent is subsequent. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so so in, in, that's what I'm saying. So in this case, I am sure that you halting to pay your, your debtors, there's mm. precedent. And the subsequent, so we would a want blow to know inevitably yours. if received quicker or earlier mm. is better. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. Chief, yeah. we are kind of saying so. Try so a bear, a bear, or, or no? Yeah, Jin intent. T I I S pains. We'll be right back with Johnny's bite. This is still TV3 News. <laughs>